A book back on the shelves in Germany is causing quite the controversy. It is not a new book, it's an old one. Mein Kampf, Adolf Hitler's Manifesto of Hate. Here's Jonathan Vigliotti. The world got its first glimpse of Hitler's Nazi Germany at the Nuremberg rallies of the 1930s. His fascist political views and call for a supreme race helped divide the country. But it was Hitler's book, Mein Kampf, or My Struggle, written a decade earlier, that paved the way. The manifesto outlined Hitler's plans to exterminate the Jewish people and started the movement that killed six million Jews during the Holocaust. More than 10 million copies were printed, sold, and even handed out by the government at weddings. In 1945, when Hitler died and World War II ended, the Allies handed the copyright to the Bavarian government, who stopped the presses. Seventy years later, that copyright has expired, and Mein Kampf is back in German bookstores for the first time. It's a chapter in history some are conflicted about reopening. Io Oppenheimer lives in Jerusalem. I'm not thrilled about the fact that Mein Kampf can now be in even wider dissemination around the world, given the hateful content. The German government would only allow the book to be reprinted with academic analysis of the text. This edition exposes the false information spread by Hitler, his downright lies and many half-truths, said historian Andreas Wersching, the book's publisher. Hitler's original, unchallenged version of Mein Kampf is still sold in countries outside of Germany and is widely available online. But the new version, scholars say, is far from a fascist Bible, instead offering crucial context that exposes a horrific past. So history won't repeat itself. Jonathan Vigliotti, CBS News, London.